please explain rocket science rocket science haha i think this question was asked as a joke but let me take it seriously let's understand what rocket science is well rocket science isn't actually science it's engineering it's applied science and what is the the problem we're trying to solve in rocket science in in, in rocketry let's say what you want to do is you want to transport something from point a to point b in a very short amount of time and ideally you can use a rocket to deliver deliver a payload from point a to point b on the surface of the planet or more likely you want to get into space so maybe you want to place a payload into earth's orbit or maybe you want to go to the moon or maybe you want to go to mars or you maybe you want to go to the andromeda galaxy so you want to go beyond the earth okay you want to travel into space so how do you do that that's the problem you want to solve i want uh, i have this requirement i want to get into space so how do i do it that's the problem you want to solve and that's where rocket engineering comes in it's actually rocket engineering not rocket science it's not rocket scientists it's rocket engineers so what what do you do is you need what you need is you need a vehicle that can take you into space now for that you will have to overcome the escape velocity of the earth or let's say you want to place something in orbit around the earth okay in that case you don't need to have a speed in excess of the escape velocity but you need to have orbital speed so you need to get to a certain amount of altitude and then you cannot just go straight up you have to go in that direction and you to miss the earth and constantly fall and all that so you need a vehicle that can achieve tremendous velocities that is aerodynamic which can uh, which you, which will not burn up because of friction with the atmosphere the heating of the atmosphere and all that so what so for that you need the right kind of uh, structure the right kind of uh, material which is typically metal and and composites you need the right kind of aerodynamic shape and you need the right kind of fuel you need fuel with a very high impulse okay uh, kerosene which is aviation fuel won't do it doesn't have that much impulse uh, petroleum and whatever else won't do you need something with much higher impulse so you, you could use hypergolic fuels which are extremely uh, toxic or you could use a simple liquid hydrogen liquid oxygen uh, cryogenic fuels and so on so all of these problems are solved in, in a variety of methods using engineering and that is rocket science and if you want to travel to other planets and so on and so forth you have to understand celestial celestial mechanics which obviously is is nothing but a branch of newtonian mechanics classical mechanics you don't need to use quantum theory um, general relativity etc in that you may no you don't need general relativity you can send human beings safely to the moon and bring them back without ever resorting to general relativity you can do that just by using newtonian mechanics so all of this is rocket science all right that 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 is the problem that rocket science seeks to solve and it has engineering solutions so you it involves the study of aerodynamics and the application of aerodynamics uh the application of various kinds of fuels multiple staging rockets if required uh you know deployment of payloads uh, into orbit achieving orbital velocity uh, injecting your vehicle in a specific orbit whether it's a polar orbit whether it is a lisa ju orbit whether it is uh, uh what is it called uh geocentric orbit and so on so forth or a transfer orbit into a different uh, maybe lunar transfer orbit or whatever and so on orbital raising maneuvers there's a whole lot that is that is involved in all this so all of this taken together is what is colloquially called rocket science is actually rocket engineering all right